Okay, uh, good evening guys. Uh, my name's Dave. Um, <clears throat> I thought I would do a quick uh, video uh, review of the of the goodies I, I received today. Um, I thought uh, a little bit about me. Um, I've been into RC gear for, well, I don't know, decades. And I've messed around with helicopters and anything that flies, generally anything radio controlled. Uh, and I've been looking at quad, quad, quadcopters for quite some time because they sort of encapsulate everything I'm into, which is radio, comms, telemetry, all, all that good stuff. So I, I decided I would um, take the plunge and um, get into get into quadcopters. So I started looking around at what was on off the shelf, um, Phantom, uh, vet, you know that type of um, pre-built unit, and uh, decided that. Um, Rather than buying off the shelf, I was going to have a crack at building my own, because um, generally that's the fun part, and uh, hopefully at the end of the day I'll end up uh, end up learning something. So I um, did a lot of research, mainly while I was on holiday, and I had the time, and then went crazy and bought loads of stuff. So uh, for better or for worse, um, I'm not. Hopefully, I've bought roughly the right sort of stuff. So I thought I'd go through the box of stuff. I received or what I'm intended to use and then I'm going to do a series of little um, videos of me putting it all together and, uh, and then uh, attempting to get it to work. So um, I've made a list of all the things um, so I thought I'd so start with the with the frame. Um, now I've gone I suppose you could say budget on the frame. Um, there are lots of uh, variations to the frames that you can you can buy. I've gone for the um, I think it's called the X-Mode uh, Alien frame which arrived today here we go this box of goodies so the frame essentially consists of two two sections a, a, um, a bottom and a top sorry about the videoing not my forte um, yeah, bottom and top sections, uh, they all look good, um, kind of basically um, pre-cut glass fibre board, basically printed circuit board type type arrangement, a little bit, little bit flexible but then, then it's not obviously not assembled. And then the uh, four, uh, four leg structures, um, two red, two white, various bags of... Uh, Nuts and bolts, um, 16 plus uh, 8 for uh, top and bottom assembly uh, through, through using the legs. whole bunch of uh, nuts, uh, screw or hex bolts here, which I'm assuming are for holding the motors in. Uh, another little bag with uh, some standoffs to give the rear some additional um, support. And um, there's this. So the, the cam, this is the front, the camera's, if you've got a camera, it's going to go, kind of going to go here. No, sorry, here. <laughs> See, told you. Uh, it's going to go here. And there's a little um, additional board, um, which will sit proud of that on these little uh, little rubber spring-loaded mounts, if that's, the, if that's the way you want to, if that's the way you want to go. So that's, that's the frame. All good. Reasonably well made. I mean, sub £20, so, you know, you get what you pay for. If you're going to, you know, you could have paid three times that for more, much more than that for carbon fibre. All looks good. Only one small quality control issue um, that I've noticed in the, the, the four holes um, for the top section. One hole has not been drilled. There. Not a big deal. I've got a pillar drill. I'll, you know, buzz it through. Not a big deal, but... Uh, yeah, it's not perfect. There's there's a hole there's a hole missing, but you know, it's a, it's a, it's a cheap mount. So there you go. Okay, so that's the mount. Uh, the frame even. Um, right, motor wise, okay. Uh, that was a, li I had a little bit quite difficult to choose motors. There there are just huge numbers of them. Um, and what I did was I, I essentially I just tried to work it out, and then and then go for something which was in, in my budget. So I, I weighed all, all the gear um, and came in about 1.2 kilograms, multiplied by 2.2 as a good rule of thumb from what, I can, what I've read. Divide that by four um, and then went for a motor which gave me about 
about that level of drive. So I can't remember what that was, sort of the 670, 6, 680, and this, this motor gives uh, 670 grams of thrust at the uh, with a with a with a three cell battery, um, eight ten kV. This is an Emax twenty two sixteen, um, and it was supplied with cheap and cheerful Emax ten forty five props. I mean they're not carbon fiber; they're just plastic. But you know, I didn't want to go too crazy to start with, as I'm as I was just I'll be experimenting initially. So uh, they look like nice little motors. They 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 seem reasonably well made. They've got a they've got a nice little feature. Um, is that each motor comes with a you can buy them the, they're supplied clockwise and, and, and counterclockwise. Um, if I could get the packet open, she's brute force. Um, they've got a little um, machined I'm sure I've done this before. A little machined hub a little machined hub that uh, sits on the top. So the actual motor spindle is just a basically locating pin, if you like. There's no, um, there's no obviously because the whole barrel of the motor turns rather than the, just the shaft. So the the little the little hub bolts on the top, and then you've got a nice little aluminium threaded cap, and they come threaded clock, clockwise and counterclockwise. So that the rotation of the motor. Um, tends to hold the prop on rather than spin it off, which I thought was quite nice. Um, so I bought, yeah, two clockwise, two counterclockwise. And the motors are generic, it's just these, it's just these little hubs that make the difference. I'll, I'll, I'll put that in the box and lose it for later. All right, uh, so that's the motors, four obviously. Now, what next? Ah, well, we're talking motors, uh, motor drive. I looked at all these ESCs and all, all this business, um, lots and lots and lots to choose from. In the end, decided to go for what I thought was going to be the, the neatest solution in terms of wiring, which is this, this business here, which is the um, Q-Brain. Um, so it's pretty simple, um, it's just four ESCs in a box, um, so power from your from your from your from your battery, you've got one one connector with uh, uh, power, ground, and signal. Uh, three others with signal only, and then four sets of uh, three-phase drive for all, each each of the four motors M1 to M3. Needs a bit of setting up, I think, uh, but doesn't look hard. So um, yeah, I went for this because all the ESCs are now um, centralised in terms of weight rather than being out on the limbs, uh, which I would imagine bringing the, the weight towards the center of gravity of the model is going to make it more stable. That may or may not be true. Don't know. Like I say, first, first quadcopter. But thinking about it, I would have thought bringing the weight towards the center of gravity would, would stabilize things rather than having the weight dangling around on the arms. But then I suppose the ESCs are quite light compared with the motors. So that's dust to drive. Uh, what's next? Ah, flight control. Ooh. Tricky one, spent a lot of time looking at flight control. In the end, decided on this little beastie, which I'm sure most people are going to immediately recognise as the uh, APM, or as you pronounce it, Arducopter controller. Uh, seemed, for, for, for in terms of value for money, um, what I have seen of performance, Seems like a really good option to me. Um, it's significantly cheaper than a lot of the flight controllers on, on the market. Open source, so customizable. Um, I mean, I'm an electronics engineer and do hardware and, and, and software development, so that was kind of like right up my street. Um, thought, well, you know, if I do want to have a tinker, um, then this is this is uh, you know this is open source software, nicely built. Comes in this little plastic contact box. On eBay, this on its own in the box are they're about sort of 25, 30 quid, something like that. I can't remember what I paid for this now. I've forgotten, lost in the noise of all the other stuff I've bought. Um, so that that's that's going to be my flight control. Okay. Uh, what? Well, yeah, that came with um, a, some other bits and bobs. Um, wireless um, 3DR 433 meg um, telemetry unit but 
primarily will be I'll be using it as a as a wireless connection to the uh, flight controller for setup and and whatnot through the through the PC based software. Also came with a Mavlink OSD, which would be quite handy, sort of fit between the camera and and, and the um and the transmitter. At some point, a little bit a little bit uh, far off at the moment. Just get the thing to fly first. Um, pretty essential, I think, little unit. The um, um, power module, APM power module. So basically, uh, yeah, juice in, juice out. Power to the uh, APM and uh, you know, vital signs, you know, current voltage, all that sort of business. So that's quite, quite, quite a nice little, nice little unit that that came with with the APM. Uh, ooh, yeah. Also came along with it is this is the is the GPS. So it's um, U blocks, whatever. Um, NG, uh, N Neo 6M GPS with compass. Yeah, whatever. This GPS unit's got a compass in it. Right, plugs into the flight controller. All good. Okay. Um, right. What next? Ah, power. Went for this little fella. Um, Turnigy, is it? I don't know quite how you pronounce that, but um, I'm sure someone will correct me. Doesn't really matter. You know what it is? It's a battery. 3.3 uh, amp hour. Went for that one just because it happened to be on a bit of an offer price. Um, Could have got a bigger one. Maybe I should have got a bigger one, but I've got for a 3.3 amp hour figure to, to start with um, just get in, get in the hang of things that would that would probably be okay can't remember I think it was about 20 quid um, yeah so it's got a balanced lead and the usual heavy juice out um, that was good it seems really nicely made um, hopefully the batteries will 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 go the distance of course got to charge it um, these are, you know, as everybody knows who knows what they're looking at here, these are, can be fairly hairy and, and shouldn't be um, handled um, without respect. So, um, charging wise, went for this fella. It has been a busy day, hasn't it? Um, IMAX B6 uh, AC charger. This is quite nice. I'm really pleased with this actually. It's um, 12 volt powered or, or mains powered, which is nice. Um, I've used it, dead easy to set up, go through, set your voltage, well it pretty much does it for you, just tell it how many cells you're using, set the current on the cells, set up a couple of other little things, a few protection features, press the button. It'll charge pretty much any battery, lithium, lith uh, lithium poly, um, nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydrides, uh, wet cells, pretty much everything. Um, you, plug, you can put, plug your balance lead in here, it'll do batteries, four, three, two, six, five cell. In there, so it'll do balance charge or non balance charging. Seems to work really well. Plug this in, charged it up in about 15 20 minutes. It's got a discharge feature, so it's got lots of stuff. I mean, look online, it's, it's all there. It was not expensive, I think it was under 20 quid. So, bargain, I mean, in the, you couldn't even buy the case for that. So, excellent, that is. Um, what next? Oh, yeah, what came with also a, this is a little. Uh, Little side thing I picked up. I thought this might be quite useful for the actual bit of fun. It's a little um, battery monitor, uh, which I'll now attempt to plug in. Right, okay, here we go. Uh, positive. There you go. Ow, oh, that's loud. So it tells you it's um, in three cell mode and then it cycles through the cells. So, number uh, one. All, all 12.5, number 1, 4.17, number 2, 4.19, number 3, 4.19, all 12.5. Quite cute, and you've can you, you you've got a little button on the top, you can reprogram the thresholds, uh, you know, for the, for, the, for, the, for the danger signal, as it were, when one one or, or more cells drops below some, some sort of threshold, so that was quite good. Again, yeah, pint of beer and packet crisps sort of money. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Right. What else have I got? Well, I've got a few things that I've bought but not arrived yet because, well, I bought them from Hobby King and I'm still waiting. This last time I'll be doing that. Anyway, without going into that, I uh, bought the, again, 
I presume we pronounce it Turnigy. Uh, nine channel transmitter, eight channel RX mode two. Um, two point, you know, two and a half gig uh, radio unit. Camera wise, uh, again, I bought some camera equipment as I was on a bit of a roll. Went for the, is it, I presume you pronounce it, Boscam uh, TR1, 5 megapixel, 1080p, 5.8 gigahertz, effectively FPV camera. So it's got the camera with the transmitter built in, uh, 200 milliwatt, and um, you can either use it as a, as a sort of FPV camera or it, it will take a 32 gig memory stick and you can record as well as transmit FPV video, which I thought from, just from my initial trial runs would be would probably be good enough because I won't be doing anything too adventurous to start with. Um, it's all self-contained. Uh, receiver wise went for a Boscam D58-2 5.0 gigahertz uh, receiver with uh, two antenna receive diversity so it can receive one, two channels or combined channels with intelligent switching. So, um, well, hopefully intelligent. So, bought that uh, again, that's on its way from uh, Asia, and also after a t bit too much cider, I went for a two-axis brushless gimbal with controller, which was a, not an expensive one. Um, seems to work reasonably well from what I've seen on YouTube videos, and uh, we'll see. That's again wasn't expensive, and it's coming from from Asia. So I suppose all in all, I've got the whole. I've done got everything for a little under 500 quid, I suppose, something like that, um, which compared with an off-the-shelf unit. Um, it's quite reasonable considering I've got cameras and receivers and battery chargers and batteries and everything else in, in, included in that price well, which I probably would have had to buy on top if I bought off the shelf and it wouldn't be as much fun so anyway I will um, sorry if that was a bit of a, a bit of a gabble um, I will post some more when I start assembling things and um, maybe I can impart some information that might save other people a bit of time maybe even money so um, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, any comments, um, good or bad, treat me gentle. Um, anyway, have a good evening. Cheers.